Hello, viewers. <laughs> this movie you're about to watch is a gospel movie. And I believe that it's going to bless your soul and minister life into your lives. But please, hold on a minute. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell. Like and share. Do it now. Do it now, please. If you do that, you have encouraged us. Subscribe. Like and share. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Happy watching. Before we get to the car, let's pray on this car. Prayer? Yes, prayer, prayer, prayers, prayers. That every entrance on the will of anyone in this church, the Lord should take it away. There will be no entrance for all of us. As many people that God is bringing to the service this morning, there will be no entrance on their ways. Prayer, prayer. Father, we pray that you touch every part of this car. Such that every part, no part will give us any problem as usual in Jesus' name. Amen. I notice contempt and insincerity in your response to that prayer. Yes, because I think we have rather called on a mechanical technician and not God. I always say, we still have to pray on every situation. We still have to pray on every, every situation. Hey, we want to see the old of cross. We want an encounter with the cross. We want souls to come into his presence. Let sinners give their life to Christ. Let's know and tell whether we're going to push this car as usual. Or is it igniting? Um, it's not igniting. I don't know why we keep giving the job of a mechanic to God. Children, please, let's get out of this old rugged car and push it.
again this morning. Ah, ah. this morning again. <laughs> What's next now? We are running late for oh, the service. And I pray, oh Lord, that you touch every part of this car this morning. I pray, I pray. Daddy, what work does Jesus do while on earth? Wonderful works. No. Wonderful works. No, I mean work. 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 Was Jesus a mechanic? Every of you, just shut up. Please, shut up, shut up, shut up. Get it, get it. I think you should just call the assistant pastor to continue with the service while we sort ourselves out here. What do you think? Okay. Hello, Pastor Daniel. Hello, sir. Good. Uh, please start the service now. We we. Yes, the, the vehicle has the fault as usual. Please, start the service now. Again? Okay, sir. I will start the service, sir. Okay, sir. The Holy Ghost will bring you safely and quickly, sir. Pastor. Yes. What happened? The GO's car broke down again, but the Holy Ghost will bring him quickly and faster. When has the Holy Spirit become a transport officer? Meaning what? Pastor's car broke down. And your car is lying down idle here. Instead of you to pick your car and go and pick him, you are saying the Holy Spirit should go and bring him. What kind of hypocritical prayer is that? Mm, my dear King, you would have said it gently. You have made a point. Better. And anyway, take my car. I'm starting the service right away while we wait for him. Okay, okay. Don't be long. Let me Praise the Lord. My sincere apology for coming late to the church today. Shall we rise up as we close uh, today's service with our congregational aim? Faith of our fathers. Faith of our fathers, holy faith. In spite of dungeon fire and sword, how our heart beat high with joy. When we hear that glorious word, faith of our fathers, holy faith, will be truthful to thee to the end. The choir. Faith of our fathers, be still. Inspire of God, your fire and sword. Who are our army? I will go. When we hear the glorious word, faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Ah, yes, sir. Thank God, sir. Sister, I just moved to bed, sir. Oh, praise the Lord. Ah, glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. 
Ali, oh, congratulations, my brother. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Lade. Yes, sir. The issue of grand is about money. Okay. Now. Okay. Yes, I, I know. I know. I will definitely pay up before my wife is finally released to me. It's better you go now. I, I, I will go and look so for money. So that everything will be put in place. I will, I will go and look for money. I will go and look for go, money. Go, do now. Okay. Do now. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, the pastor is here. Only God knows what he has brought for us. What I have with me on this paper, I can see that we we have about six hundred and fifty thousand naira as total income of the church for this month. Uh, out of which we have sent three hundred thousand naira to the to our outreach centers and uh, two hundred thousand naira for widow welfare and uh, the needy. Likewise, uh, we sent fifty five thousand naira. For church maintenance and also 50,000 naira for our youth campus uh, program, 30,000 naira for the church uh, bus uh, refurbishment and also, uh, uh, little, little repairs. We have other miscellaneous uh, expenses totaling about 30,000 or thereabout. At the end of everything, we have uh, cash at hand presently now is 2,500. 170 naira. I believe uh, some of us will be looking at it as if uh, you no, know, a church cannot be real, cannot have leftover except a church that is not doing what God wants him to do. So our 2,570 naira is intact with us. Am I right, thinking Joe? You are very right, sir. Very okay. Right, sir. So the expenses is not over yet. Of uh, uh, Sister Bisi has just put to bed. Oh. Hallelujah. Yes. And that's another expenses on our part. Even though I cannot go there immediately now, you have to choose one or two persons to represent the church to quickly go there. So we have to mobilize those uh, brethren that will be going. I will suggest the King Joe and uh, the King uh, Dennis to quickly go after this meeting and just represent the church. So. At least we should mobilize them with uh, very uh, something. I know we can manage little. Is only we, we cannot manage nothing. So we uh, the King Joe. Yes, sir. Please, you have to give uh, uh, the King Dennis one thousand five hundred naira to mobilize you people to go for two transportation. Yes, two of you so, okay, down to the place to represent the church. But sir, what of pastors' welfare allowance? Uh, as you can all see, there is no allowance for that allowance now. <laughs> well, uh, okay, okay, uh, uh, that's okay, that's okay. Is there another thing that we have left on touch in the meetings today? Uh, in the absence of none, I think we can call today's meeting closed. So let's share the grace. By the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. the love of God, Amen. and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit Amen. be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. You can do. Imagine. Pastor gave us just 1,500 naira for the for the trip. Let's just stop, stop it, taking. Why now? Why are you not at the meeting? Of course. I want you to raise the objection. Why? Uh, uh, okay, uh, it's like you are bad biting. I don't like it. So okay, okay. What do we do now? One thousand five hundred naira. Simple. We are going to raise the money to augment the one thousand five. It's as simple as that. It's not the work of the pastor alone now. I, I don't seem to have gotten your point here, dear. What I'm saying is this: you neglect yourself too much, and by extension, your family. As how? Dear, you are asking me how. You are asking me how. 
There is no food in the house. No cobble in our pockets. Dear, our car is faulty. And we don't have money to get a mechanical technician to fix it for us. <laughs> Look at this kind of office that you have as the pastor of this church. And our church is rich. Can we not say with all that the church has? Look at the kind of car that we have that we can call our own, dear. But we are suffering. We are suffering, dear. We are suffering. What is happening? What is happening to us? And the remaining 2,500 naira. No, 2,570 naira. And 17 naira. 2,570 naira. That remains. You could not allocate a cobble to yourself. It, it, not to even talk of your family. It, it will gladden your heart. And to know that uh, 1,070 naira that is remaining is actually for us. Wow. <laughs> What a big money for the family of the pastor of this no, church. No, 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 no. I am not saying it's sufficient for us. What we can manage little is only nothing we cannot manage. Jesus, dear, let's find a job to do. There we go again. Yes, we will go there again and again until it is permanently resolved. I have come to full-time ministry. You know it. Yes, just like Paul the Apostle was called. Exactly. Exactly. But Paul worked. He worked. <sighs> yes, Paul worked. But you know, you are my wife. You know several things I have done. But God has decided to call me on full-time ministry. Yes, I know. I know you are called into full-time ministry. Then you are contradicting yourself, no, my dear. dear. No! And being a full-time minister does not mean that you should not engage in profit-making ventures. It's just that you don't want to take up employment that will control your time. Okay, okay, okay. What venture do I go into it now? James 4, 2. How do I get money to go into such venture? Still, James 4, 2. What is it in James chapter 4, verse 2? That is an assignment from Pastor Mrs. to Pastor Mr. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Madam, please. Yeah, please come. come. You know, uh, when we get home, let's suspend everything now. When we get home, we continue from there. Please. Uh, please get to the Edosha, take the 1,070 Naira from him, then use the 1,000 Naira for our upkeep or whatever you can, God, God will help you to prepare for today. I'm not saying that's enough, but the grace of God is sufficient for you. Uh, then the 70 Naira, you can uh, please get me some sugar, some wraps of granuts, and then if you can get some pack of biscuits for the kids, it will be fine. <laughs> Won't you get a pack of garito? No, 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 no. I, I, I still have some in my trust there. So just get me those ones, then I will, please. All the same, the load on that 70 Naira is too much. 100 Naira cannot even carry it. So we have you. Okay. What an assignment. From Pastor Mrs. to Pastor Mr. Congrats, Sister Alade. Thank you, sir. Ah, you are looking uh, good. Thank you, sir. Congrats. What's up? He actually left to pick a call, and the call is very, very important. No wonder, because I overheard his voice. Yeah, we came together actually. Um, did um, Brussels, he will be staying long? I don't know. He left immediately, he heard I successfully. Uh, le 
left? Yes, sir. For what? has no confidence in this place. Oh. Uh, I, I don't know. But I hope you pray before coming here. Huh. We just came here. That is spiritually dangerous. I'm telling you. Before you choose anywhere, you know, uh, there is the need for you to pray very well. He don't want you to go there or not. Anyway, um, when he comes, tell him that he should collect the umbilical cord and every other materials, um, you know, so that he can do the needful. My boss is actually a demon and not a deacon, sir. <laughs> well, brother, why do you say your boss is a demon and not a deacon? Daddy, he is one, sir. How can somebody call himself a Christian? Hmm? Even a leader in a church. Okay. And he has a very large company with a lot of staffs under him. Okay. And he won't allow any of them to pray, mm -hmm. study the word of God, even to meditate during office hours, sir. During office hour? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, my brother, what do you intend to do now? Uh, sir, after I got my salary at the end of the month, I am leaving that place. It is totally a mistake for me to work there, sir. Good. My brother, the truth be told, which of these three things did he actually employ you for? Is it reading the Bible, praying in the during office hour, or meditating in the office? I believe he did not employ you for any of this. Therefore, he has not committed any sin if he didn't allow himself to be cheated. So, my brother, I will see you some other time. May the Lord help you to take the right decision. Oh, Sister Tola! Hey, look, come, 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 come. How are you? Yes, sir. How are you? Oh, God bless you. God bless you. Okay. I saw your test uh, where you said you want to see me compostulate today. And I'll be waiting for you in the office. Yes, sir. But I'm not really actually here for counseling, sir. Okay. So I had a dream, and in my dream, I saw a madman dressed in the attire of a bishop. A madman? Yes, sir. And this madman was preaching the word of God fervently. But this time, he was not preaching it to the church, he was preaching it to the ministers of God. That is an irony. Yes, sir. But the most... Um, confusing part of it is that as he was preaching it to the ministers of God, they brought out gun and wanted to shoot this man of God. That is a great enigma. Yes, sir. But the most thought provoking aspect is that as I was narrating the dream to my mommy, my brother started shouting, I saw his face, he's our pastor. Mini, you also saw the same dream? Yes, sir. By the way, which of the pastor are you talking about? You. You, sir. And this is my utmost concern, sir. I want you to take this to the Lord in prayer and know God's mind about it. Sir, I want you to take it as if God has given an assignment to know what he's saying about this revelation. <laughs> Thank you, God bless you. Thank you, my sister. God Thank bless you. Thank Bye -bye, you. Bye-bye, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Another assignment from members to their pastors, from two women to a man. I have not even done the first one. Here comes the second one again. This is 
the blood and the path of the placenta. Okay, okay. What is the name of the mother? The name of the mother is B.C. Aladi. I wrote it there. Okay, B.C. Aladi. B.C. Aladi. What of the baby's name? Baby's name? Yes. They hold baby. Okay, sorry. However, I can get you the address of where the baby will be named. Okay, no problem. You're welcome. Okay. Just give it to her. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sir, you come back. Yes. Oh, you forgot nothing. No, 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 not really. Please, did, 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 did you collect the, the placenta of this baby? Yes. You did? Yes, yes. Okay. But when? Later in the evening when I came back. Oh, my goodness. Why didn't you collect it right immediately? That's by the way. Now, listen. You are not going to do the baby ceremony of this baby. But, but why? why? That's not very important now. A day to the baby ceremony. Write out the names, paste it by your door, and then get to a prayer meeting and begin to pray against every destiny changer of this baby. I hope I'm well understood. What will now happen on the naming day? Fine. On the naming day, people who come, will see the name by your door, read it, and then go back to their houses. But listen to me carefully. No member of this hospital, no staff of this hospital should know about this arrangement. Am I well understood? But why? Why, sir? That is not very important now. I have something very important to do and very urgent. Please, where is the medical director's office? I need to do something urgent now. Thank you. Okay, how may I help you? Uh, I saw something very suspicious. Just a few, few minutes ago. Hey, what's, what is that, sir? I saw one of your nurses giving a polythene bag to a man with the particulars of my okay, church okay, member. Okay, 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 Pastor. I know what you're about to say. Which means you saw her too? No. I did not see her. I sent her. What? Is that what you people do here? I know you need answer to that question. I certainly do. I do. Okay. I do. Okay, okay, okay. If you really need answer to that question, it will be tomorrow. Since for first year. What the fuck? What? This is all these atrocities. I can see that you are an, an innocent Britic hustler. But in your own interest, give that moral appointment. Or keep your mouth shut. Or else. Or else what? Or else what? Or are you threatening me? It's just an advice. I'm not threatening you. You demon! Please, watch your statement. Or prepare to pay for damaging my name. Because you cannot prove what you have seen tonight. Then we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> <laughs> Minutes that we just pray the valise money. Yes, and here is the money. Money. Hey, I think this is establishing the fact that the Bible says, when we are still thinking about a thing, that God answers our prayers even before we put it to Him in prayers. Hmm. 
This is serious, as in. Ah! Ah! Hmm. You mean all of this? This is surprising. Jesus. Jesus. Heavenly Father. Jesus. The God that answers by fire. Hmm. Our God answers prayers. Oh my God. All sufficient God. All providing God. Hmm. But, but, dear, where is this money coming from? From Taddy, a man I never knew. Yes, I know Taddy, but I mean, where it is coming from? You, you, you don't understand? This money is much. Tight, all of this. Hmm. This is, is seriously surprising. Anyway, let's meet the need for that. Be watchful, be vigilant. What? Take note of the winds plus around Let you. Let the devil take God advantage of you. Be there. God may oh. not be there. Be watchful, be watchful, be vigilant, be vigilant. Take note of the winds blows around you. God may not, God be, may there. not be there. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. You know Ja, you know Ja, though. So, hey! 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 The boss! The boss! The deed is the Tell us now, tell us now, how the parole take on food now. I carry them, hmm. like we package them, two, fat, three, envelope, go, present Whoa. them, <laughs> and he collect them. Ah, you miss oh it? My God. He collect them. Not only did he collect them. Hmm? After he collect them, finish. Okay. He blessed me. Hey, we don't hammer. <laughs> we don't hammer. No we don't hammer. He blessed me yeah. and anointed our business to succeed. Hey. Hey. So you may say I should stay like this. You can anointed, anointed criminal. <laughs> anointed. Hey. anointed. Hey. 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 That was loud. That was loud. Uh -uh. Not. I am now an anointed guy, man. Uh -huh. Anointed job man, hey. anointed scammer. Only hey. you are. An anointed, anointed to be anointed. <laughs> Only you are. Hey, wait till we do wait for now. Wait till we do wait for. Wait till we wait wait Where are the gears? Everything day now. You trust Where me. Where your April? Everything. So you put on that. I know they do. Operation don't get. I don't know what the follow up. Don't take it. I never. Oh no, no. Oh move on. Come on, let's go. Oh no, 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 From you before this time that today is a day of praise the Lord. I told you about the men and testimonies and miracles that have been attending our ways of late. And today we're going to praise the Lord in a special way for your information. We are not going to use the whole time choir as you know. Probably we will use them for something else later. For now, I present to you sensational Messiah Melody Maker. Come on, shout, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, shout, yo, 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 yo. Come on, shout, yeah. Oh, good old Tiku, calling the body's okay. Okay, okay. 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 Okay.
Now with your boom. Uh, I did. You see the man bless us. Yeah. Now. Where did the beggar come from now? Ah. This now fuck up. This now fuck up. Ha! Ah. Damn. I be the man scam us. Damn. <sighs> me, 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 me. Police call they chase me. Me call they run for police. Scam. Me is sacko. Damn. Oh. Be watchful, be vigilant. Dear, don't you think we should ask questions? From this, uh, I mean about these gift givers. Especially that man that gave us the, the big cup. Ask no question for conscience. Say the Holy Spirit. Well, that means that our conscience is making us to understand that the source of the gift is unclean but we are trying to silence our conscience maybe maybe not but a true child of god should not silence his conscience you can say that again that i am not a true child of god oh no no dear that's not what i mean what do you mean then i mean that we as children of god we should not silence our conscience in matters like this so that our conscience will not be channeled towards the way of Satan. Exactly! Anyone whose conscience is channeled towards the way of Satan is a child of his. Well, if that is your definition, I think what you need now is repentance, not argument. Me? Repentance? Me? Repentance? No one is beyond repentance. Oh, well, fine. Pending the time I will you will no longer ride with me in that car. Oh, no problem with that. That is in line with my conviction. I just did not know how to tell you. Oh, hey, but but dear, don't you think you're taking the matter of this car too far? Yes, you're taking it too far because of this same car. You changed the order of program in the church. What? You displaced the Holy Spirit inspired choir. Two? And replaced them with MMM choir. Who turned the church to momentary clubhouse with their alcohol influenced beats? Three. <laughs> and this MMM choir that we're talking about, they only have good name, but bad characters, such as bad dressing, drinking. Fighting as if they are going to clubhouse and political rallies. Are those children of God? Are they not sinners? Judge not! So that he will not be judged! Say the Holy Scripture! The, but the same Bible says, By their fruits you shall know them. I can clearly see what you are now. Oh, what am I? 
your wife. No. Enemy of progress, you are. Wow. Then, that is what God wants me to be to you. If your progress is a destructive one, I can clearly see that you have known more than me now. And if that be the case, I can clearly see what you are now, that you have known more than me. In that case, you will no longer be able to walk under me. And so, you are suspended from being the mother of Israel of my church. Wow. That is okay by me. If that is the price that I have to pay for standing by faith, then expect more. What's more again? What's more? God is in church. Your wife doesn't have any effrontery to give authority to you or to tell you what to do and what not to do. Are you forgetting that you are the Holy Ghost personified car? Are you forgetting this? She is just a woman. But all other men of God that we call great men of God, they, they, people question their decisions and then they, 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 they question their and they answer questions. That is where you are making it wrong. Listen to me, Bishop Paul. We are not like any other church. We are not like any other bishop. Am I communicating? Listen to me. You have the last say. We need to go to something else. That is not why I even called you in the first place. So relax. Ah, uh, Bishop Popson. Yes, my lord. I have been called by our international order in Germany to a higher position. And I believe that you are the only person that can occupy my position because you are the closest to me. Thank you, my lord. But I used to think that this your position is for life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now listen to me, Bishop. It's going to cost you something. But what is that? 50 million Naira. Ah, my Lord Bishop, I cannot get it. You can get it. I don't have such money. Bishop Popson. Yes, my Lord Bishop. I want you to consider the benefits. Do you know that every member of this order will have to be contributing 250,000 naira for you every month for the rest of your life. Are you forgetting that you are going to be traveling on the expenses of the others? Think about how many bishops you have in this order. I will get the money. You better do. I will get the money. You better. Million. Uh, how, 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 how will I get the money? How will I 50 million naira? How will I get the money? Bishop Oops. Calvary is a place of the score. Yes. Many what? Use your score. That is it. Oh, Isoko, where is it where I go buy these glasses now? Kapo. This is the tire me. Kapo. Ah. What thing? Guess what? Where they bother me for mine? Where do they bother you? You like as we day like this, they lay low. Me, I don't tire now. Why would they live this kind of life now? Isoko, you know me now. You know, say I'm the action guy. I don't like him. You see? You must be very careful. We will take caution. It's bad that we get where they can pass our level. Kapo. Pass our level. Kapo. I get one idea why I know. Say, if I tell you now, go to each other. Sure, I'm now. And the reason I'm here, mm -hmm. see, why we don't look for one big church 
where the pastor Shush. Shush. Oh, well, uh. Shush. What kind of matter? What kind of talk? Relax talk? now. No, don't be like that. I, I don't, don't say no they like here church. Matter. church matter. But this yeah. one different. No for this you one. see? We go, we go, we go, we go, we go observe church and we say the pastor get paid. And the people wait there, they whole well, I hope pay well. Mm. So we go pretend they for background, begin to observe, go enter like bro, you know, as they do I'm now, brotherhood kind of level, bro sis kind of thing. We go they observe, they look who get the door for the church. Then as per lay low level, we can begin to see where we feel the guys will feel heat now. He's not go! And they no go no. He's not go! So that's okay! Now me! Now confirm undercover. Because just did they survey. Yes, sir. I think it's just what we say. Then go collect contract for Abuja. Exactly. 50 billion. Then knock the guy money. Yes. He comes to the church on Sunday. To give testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord has blessed me with the Lord is good. I gave a John of 30 billion. Yes, exactly. He comes to pay tight. Yes. We go meet them for us. We collect taxi fire. Oh, 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 and then we <coughs> it all. You see, it's here now. I was see, flying to talk. Dubai, flying to China, flying. We fly, I can't land for Nigeria. We go, go collect our ticket too. That's so. We go, go hold land. And before you ah! run, level don't show. Oh, oh boy. Oh. This thing, this thing, this thing. No, this thing they work. Now brain that you ah! come across. He did it. He died for me. Now brain. Talk about it. Now brain. Now brain. So, now the less level will be that. If we enter this level, for when? If work, no delay person. Make person no delay work. What would they do? Move enter the job. Oh, go tell boys. Move enter the job. Make everybody go level. Move level. No time to clear. No time to fast. Hey, yes, that is la. Like, they said to this la. Like, no, no, we are now. She be now. We are, we are, we are. Unexpectedly to all day this morning, as I sat behind the pulpit, the Holy Spirit ministered to me that I should declare seven days of Baba's bonanza. Baba's what? God. And in these seven weeks of Baba's bonanza, we're going to be playing Jesus jackpot. What did I say? Jesus jackpot. In these seven weeks of Baba's bonanza, no preaching. No singing, just give it. No praying, just give it. And as you give, you receive. 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 How many of you have played jackpot before now? When you give one, you receive seven. You give one, you receive what? Seven. You give one, you receive. You give one, you receive. Now, who wants to be a millionaire? Who wants to be a millionaire? Then rise up and begin to play Jesus jackpot now. Just let the money just touch me. Let the money just touch me. The moment the money touches me, he multiplies to seven. You give 1,000, you receive 7,000. Almost immediately. Almost immediately. Now, who wants to play Jesus jackpot now? Begin to come down. Begin to come now. Just let the money touch me. Jesus jackpot going on. Jesus jackpot now. Jesus jackpot going on now. Going on now. Going on. Let the money touch me. Let it touch. Let it touch. Let it touch. I can see millions. I can see millions. In the next uh, few weeks, I can see millions. Millions. I can see millions. You give one, you receive seven. Going on now. Going on now. Jesus jackpot going on now. Jesus jackpot going on now. I can see millions. They are already coming. Please come, billionaires. In the midst of multi millionaires, you see billionaires. You see billionaires. You give one, you receive seven. You can see the billionaires. I don't know if you have all this world. I just don't know. I'm so lay away your hand because of now. Yeah, um, we, we can all see that the night is here. We're canceling from since morning after administrations and I'm a bit very exhausted now. But I cannot but give audience to the King Joe. But before then, uh, I want to release you soon. So can I have, uh, I've released the treasurer and the likes, but can I have the record of today's uh, 
income? And today we realized 2.7 million naira. 2. Point... That's over, well over 2 million. That is it. That is it. Uh, the hand always justifies the means. And a single service, we realized over 2 million. Do you know, do you people know that this church is as that rich? Do you know these people have such money before now? I could see some of you people's reaction in the morning, during the service. While I was raising the money in the church, how some of you are reacting. I was looking at you with one side. Anyway, that's by the way. You have all seen the result. Yeah, that's that. But now you, the King Joe, uh, what is it that you said you must compulsorily see me for? <coughs> uh, pastor. Yeah, no, no, no. Bishop. Sir. So, <coughs> no, that's not how to address a bishop. You say, my Lord Bishop. My Lord Bishop. I decided to call this meeting so that I can raise the issue that um, you shared with the workership of this church. After the service this morning, you called all the workers and informed us that you have suspended our mommy, our mother in Israel. What for? Who does that? Hey, that's my private personal affair. Okay? No, sir. I beg to disagree, sir. The truth remains that any man that is occupying the office of a bishop should be a man of one wife, so says the Bible. Yes. So, I don't know. I don't know the reason for all these changes. I can understand you. Your level of understanding of the scripture. Let me say something to you. Let me break, let me come to your level now. Before I became a bishop, was it the same house I was living then? I am still living in now. I need a, a ripple. No, sir. Lord, my Lord Bishop. No, my Lord Bishop. God. Is that the same car I was riding then? I am still riding now. No, sir. You are forgiven. Now, is it wrong then if God decides to change my wife too? God cannot do such a thing. We, we, we all serve the same God and his word we must follow. It's not possible, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Please, brethren, please. I want to suggest that we tread this matter gently so that we will not lose our target. Please, I beg us. Please. What target? Heaven, of course. Whatever title that a man carries in this world, it really does not matter. It doesn't mean anything. What is important is getting to heaven. If we continue like this, we are going to lose our focus. Please, I beg us in the name of God. Okay, 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 okay. Target or no target, it is an issue to be placed on side. Uh, let me clear the hair on that. It is just a temporary suspension, not a permanent one. If a lifestyle confirms with a lifestyle of a bishop wife, then we shall still consider her in the bishopric benefit of a bishop wife. Uh, I think uh, this man, this bishop is tired now. He needs to go and catch some rest. Conference ended, meeting close. Give me all go now. No, no, 
You mean it can happen so soon and like that? Not to brother Pupuola. Ha, ah, bro. What did you just call him? You cannot even call my husband a pastor now. So, 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 what, what title does does he want? A Lord Bishop. A Lord Bishop. Is that? Yes. yes. Ah. Okay. Okay. But this is unbelievable. Anyway, I, I will come. I will come alongside other ministers. Okay. We'll come and visit him. In fact, sir, I will be very happy. For you to come and see him. Mm. I know God can use you for him. Yes. Because my pastor is no longer in the ministry. He's on the path of ambition. Yes. Ah, ah. Okay. Let's continue to pray for him. God will help us. Thank you, Daddy. Amen. He, he will bounce back. Amen. 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 Mm. Mommy, shall we? Yeah, let's be on uh, our way. Please. Before we go, brethren, we need to watch something. This kind of ministerial crisis is a two-edged sword weaving. One is ambition and worldliness, like in the case of Brother Kupola. The second one is judgmental spirit and bitterness. None is better than the other. Judgmental spirit and bitterness. This should not be allowed. Thank you very much, Daddy. Thank you very much, sir. It's noted, sir. Thank you, sir. Please, watch it very seriously. What? What again? Judgmental spirit and bitterness. Ah. These two are dangerous. Don't allow judgmental spirit. Don't allow bitterness. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. Thank, Thank, you, sir. Thank you, sir. My sister, God bless you. You are welcome. Hopeless vision, worthless ambition, fruitless goal, distortion of the mind. They are attacking the holy place. Son of praise in a state of apostate. Bishops! Bishops! What kind of a person are you? Bishops! Are you craving for bishops greater things? Bishops of bishops! Jesus said, Bishops! If only in this world you have hope, you have bishops! all the people the most miserable one. I don't care, God, my life. I'm a show. I'm a talking to you from where I show go. No, you're doing what they do. I'll call me a kilo day. Mammy, kilo day. Kilo day, kilo day. I'll call me more for Lombia. Huh? Say, Kinney, do la moon. I'm a supposed to say, Dodo, a quellunini. That's a call. More beyond. Sorry, he wrote me a lot of money. 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 He Awesome, <laughs> I belobo si toto. Ano mare? Mo ni amo ni aju. 
Ah, I, the level with which I now operate has gone beyond these pastoral petitions of yours. I now operate in the bishopic page. Meaning, I no longer operate in the atmosphere of pastoral poverty. But, I now operate in bishopric benefits. Does driving your wife out to marry another woman an example of bishopric benefits? Yes, bishopric benefits. So far, I don't keep two women in my house at the same time. Bishopric benefits. What of all the Jimmy Cree and different kinds of tricks you now use to extort the congregation of God's people under your leadership? Oh, listen to me. The problem with you pastors is that you teach the Bible, but you don't obey it. How? The Bible which you teach says increase your knowledge, but you refused. If you have not refused, if you have increased your knowledge, we know that ministry can now grow under the pervading doctrine of ministerial supremacy. Ministerial supremacy? Yes. Ministerial supremacy. What does it mean? That is it! That is it! You have locked yourself up in the pastoral prison. Come out into the bishopric banquet hall of fame, success, and affluence. Anyway, ministerial supremacy simply means whatever you do to move your ministry forward is acceptable to God. Ha! Why open your mouth? Listen to me. There are some ministries that were not enumerated during the Bible days, but are now available now. Such ministry is what God has called me to now. What kind of ministry is that? Ministry of prayer robbers. Prayer robbers? Yes, prayer robbers. You teach holiness, righteousness, and purity. Yes, that's what the Bible teaches. The Bible says, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Is your auditorium full? No. Do people rush to your church? Not really. Do you have first service, second service, third service? No. Why? I guess you don't know. To receive from God, you must be holy, righteous, and pure. And what is the connection? Yes. This is the connection. To receive from God, you must be holy, righteous, and pure. But people don't want to live a holy life. And yet, they want to receive from God. Now, tell me, what do you call somebody who wants to acquire a commodity without paying the price? A, a robber, of course. Yes! A robber! My congregation are robbers. My deacons are robbers. My leaders are robbers. I am a bishop of robbers. I am ordained of God to rob people that want to rob God. God has strategically placed me at the entrance of his kingdom to rob people that want to rob him. I will first of all rob them before they rob my God. But, but, but God cannot be pleased with this because it's contrary to the whole truth of the Bible. God does not intervene or mingle in their fears of robber, robbing, robbers. When we are true with robbing ourselves, 
we shall all come back to repent. Okay, Pastor Popola. No, 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 Bishop. It's all right. I, 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 I will see you another time. Because the Word of God says I should not give heed to seducing spirit or listen to doctrine of devils. I will see you another time. What Thank shall you. It provide, man? God bless I you. don't know if you have all this world. I just don't know. I'll fall away your hand because of now. With 30 years in the thought, what will you gain in exchange? I wonder to know if you have all this world. And so they were your now. Evangelist, hmm? Hmm. are we daydreaming or what? Are we under a spell? Are we bewitched? What is happening to us? Eh? Did you hear what the bishop was telling that man of God? He said, we are in the church of robbers. Yes. Did you hear him? Ah, imagine, imagine. Every Sunday, he would just come and go and drop that money inside the boot of the car. Go and drop the money inside the boot of the car. And we have been dropping it. Imagine how many millions he has dropped. What do we do? To me, oh, I will leave this church. Ah, yes. Ah, ah, ah. Evangelist, you disappoint me. Why? You disappoint me. Why? You are not thinking right. He himself said it, that he is the bishop of the robbers. Then if he becomes the bishop of the robber, then we become disciples of the robbers. We are disciples of, of the, the robbers. robbers. Remember, he himself said it, that God does not interfere in the affair of robbers, robbing robbers. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. Ah. Do me, I do you. God know the vessel. People of God, are you not happy to be here today? I say praise the Lord. If you know what the Lord has done for me, you will not be shouting that hallelujah like that. But let me tell you my testimony. It was exactly last week Sunday. I was sitting right there. And the man of God was talking about the jackpot. And the Spirit of God touched my heart. All I had on me that day was just 5,000 naira. And I gave it. I dropped it at the feet of the master. And exactly seven days, what am I saying? Three days later, by Wednesday of the following week, I received a very strong alarm. Sorry, alarm. It was heavy. That's why I said alarm. And when I checked it, it was five million naira. People of God, the jackpot is working. Praise the Lord! Thank you. Thank you. Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Now, listen to me. From Jesus Jackpot, it has jumped to Jesus Jackpot. From now onward, all your Jackpot will begin to become Jackpot. Everybody say Jackpot. 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 Now, listen. I am not interested in what you are doing. I'm not interested in the trade you are involved in. All I'm interested in is in your Jacob. Somebody say Jacob. Jacob. My Jacob. 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 Irrespective of what you do, I will pray for every one of you and you will be Jacob. Now listen, everybody. Jacob. I command Jacob. From wherever you be, Jacob. Let your finance, Jacob. Let your home, Jacob. Let your office, Jacob. Let your trade, Jacob. Let your life, Jacob, from every area. Sir, the truth be told, how could you have said that? That um, you, you, irrespective of what they do, you pray for them. It's not my blicker, sir. Dicky Joe. Dicky Joe. How about the bishop told us never to antagonize him again? Uh, what are you saying? Uh, uh, what are you saying? So, if the armed robbers are in the church, he should be praying for armed robbers. Uh, at least, uh, let's follow the Bible. Uh, mm, thinking, uh, Joe, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. today, I will make you a scapegoat. What did I do? What did if I do? If truly, 
I am anointed. The Bible. I'm talking about the Bible. Let your mouth what? What? shift now. What? What did I do? I'm a financial dickness and not a begging dickness. Ah, ah. Oh, God. Oh. Hey, yes. Bishop. Bishop, please. Please, sir. We are begging for. Please, sir. We are begging for. Please. 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 I don't. Listen, all the money there. All the money. 